Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Wednesday, April 17th. The search is on for a two year old girl who police say was abducted from East Mount Airy. We're told the little girl was in the back of a car when her mother's boyfriend stole it. Officials say the 21 year old suspect is not the child's father, but does have a relationship with the girl. That suspect is said to be in a blue green Dodge Caliber. A big cleanup is underway right now after several rail cars carrying trash derailed in Berks County. The Norfolk Southern train cars jumped the tracks around 10 o'clock last night in Wyoming. Trash from all of those rail cars spilled behind the Wyoming restaurant and bakery on Penn Avenue. There are no reports of injuries. And the police officer injured during a confrontation with an armed man in Lower Pottsgrove Township, Montgomery County, has been treated and released from the hospital. The suspect appeared to be under the influence when he was found in a parked vehicle around 11 o'clock last night at the former Shaner's Trailer Park. Police say that man dragged an officer with the vehicle and then hit several parked cars trying to get away. They say he then abandoned that car broke into a home and stole another car. The suspect remains at large. Now for a look at the eyewitness by the forecast, here is meteorologist Katie Failinger. Hi, Katie. And good morning to you, Jan. Well, today, all in all, not a bad day. We actually have some sun, a couple of clouds, nothing more. It looks very pleasant, all in all, but we do have high pollen levels, and that's kind of a theme of this time of year. It's what I think a lot of us expect, but these levels aren't really going to be dropping off all that much, even despite a return of some wet weather in the days ahead. So those of you, especially with tree pollen allergies, are going to need to keep that in mind. A look forward keeps us in the 70s through the next couple of days, but some stormy weather on the way. And come Sunday, there may be some rain as well for Easter. Jen? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for this morning's digital news brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.